Hello YouTube! Welcome back. I'm sorry I've been away for quite a long time. Before I do a quick video, I'm just out for a uh, walk today on my day off. Um, don't worry, nothing's changed. It's all pretty much normal. We're all trucking. The way is normal. Still a few icks. So uh, don't be alarmed that you're seeing a bit of a uh, not so uh, normal video that I make. Let's make sure we're not zoomed in or anything like that. Yeah, we should be all good. Sorry, it's not, I should have brought warm action cameras out, but I thought, try this camera out for a change. And this video is just going to be more of about, you know, making sure you do stuff on your days off that you enjoy doing. Not, not just uh, making a whole life about trucking. It's all very well <laughs> making a life all about trucking but it's important equally to have a good home life or good activities on your day off to go and do so i go motorbiking but obviously with a coat locked down i can't really go and do that freely you know in terms of just going out for a ride sorry if i'm not too focused on this uh, looking what the track's up to but uh yeah so you know i thought today i'll go out for a walk so that's what I'm doing. Just going for a stroll in the village, neighbouring village near Luggershaw. And uh, I thought I'd just go out for a walk because I'm guilty of this myself. But I love going walking, but I don't do it as much as I probably should. And it's a great form of exercise. Just seeing where we're going. That's off into the woods. We'll stay on the main track. Yeah, so let's make sure you can see me okay-ish. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, uh, as I said, more the point of this is to ideally do something that's physical, like going for a walk or have some other activity you enjoy doing. It doesn't necessarily have to be fully physical in terms of going out for, you know, doing a walk doing something around the house, having a project, all that stuff. Because, you know, I enjoy what I do as my living, which occupies, you know, about 90% of my time. But equally, in the rest of the 10% of your time, is to have stuff you enjoy doing leisurely. But also, as I said, as I alluded to, saying it, it's a bit more physical, even if it's light exercise like this, is just to be able to go out for a walk. Let's give you a quick pan around. Just uh, do it slow so I don't make you all dizzy. So yes, yeah, just looking back. I so I don't really get out as much as I probably should. I, I, so I, I openly admit that I am guilty <laughs> of <laughs> not living how I preach all the time, in terms of I aspire to get out more often, but I don't always. And that could be, you know, a lot of reasons is because of life, things that go on at home, you know, work, whatever it may be, you know, that keep you home, you know. I said family's always number one, but uh, equally find a little bit of time that you can get for yourself or to enjoy doing something with others as well if you can and i think in our hectic lifestyles even as truckers we forget you know a we do work but also why do we work you know not just to pay the bills but to uh, also hopefully be able to do stuff you enjoy go on holidays go out for walks like this have a hobby like motorbiking or whatever else it may be you know and trust me motorbiking isn't cheap so <laughs> you know my work does pay for uh, <laughs> my primary hobby but as you know if you're a biker you know the frustration in we're not able to get out and uh, enjoy enjoy our hobby as much as we would like to at the moment, hope I said hopefully soon we'll be able to. 
But uh, as I say, I thought I'd just come out, have a stroll, bring you along with me. Hopefully it's not going to be a long video this, just a quick, you know, video to say hi. Sorry I've been away for a long time, I am aware of that. It's just the only reason why I haven't filmed a lot lately. It's just, it's been a lot the same sort of work and I, you know, I wasn't in the zone. And with all what's been going on, you know, I'm a big believer of not don't vlog if you're not in the zone. Because I don't want to come across too negative, let's say. And hopefully in a week or two, should have my new truck, hopefully. But we'll see, see what happens. But you know, it's nice to go for a stroll out in the countryside, even just by yourself. It clears your head, you listen to some nature. I know I'm talking, making some noise. <laughs> But uh, that aside, you know, we live in a nice, really, really nice country here in the UK. You know, no matter what the weather may do, if it rains, if it, you know, it gets a bit blustery now and again, we do live in a nice part of the world. We have some stunning countryside all over the UK. You know, it, and it's something that I think we all take for granted, you know. And it's just nice to get out and enjoy it, you know. Get away from, you know, the hectic world of work and life at home, you know. Get away from all the world's troubles or even this is an hour or so. It's an hour or so you way up away from the world's troubles, you know, to clear your head, think through your problems, have a chill, you know, just enjoy the scenery. I know it's not as picturesque as the Lake District or, you know, North Wales or Scotland, you know, you know, you can belt off a lot of highly scenic areas, but still, it has a lot of beauty in its own nature, just in Hampshire alone. You know, it's a nice county, very rural. And since, yeah, you know, I live in a town, it's nice to get out and enjoy, even though, like I said, my work is in the countryside, I love what I do, but even though my work's in the countryside, I don't get to go out for strolls like this. Not, you know, in terms of freely able to <laughs> go off, get lost for an hour or two. But with that aside, you know, hopefully everybody's keeping safe, you know, and is finding positives in the negatives, you know, it's so easy at the moment, as you all know, to get hung up what's going on with the politics, with, you know, everything, you know, that is happening. And obviously all the disappointments of cancel plans, trips, you know, etc, etc. But it's just try and find the positive, you know. And one of the ways I do it is to come out, enjoy, <laughs> the countryside, you know, go and see some new places around where you live. This is a new walk to me. Oh, I haven't walked this walk before. I've checked out a castle I did. I knew the, that was there, but I have never been to. So I quickly checked out a castle, Lugashaw, and I thought I'd just go out for a stroll. And with that said, without me muttering on, on and on about, you know, do stuff on your days off, you know, where possible, and if you can do, and it doesn't have to be expensive, by the way, I must add. You don't have to have been to motorbiking or anything like that. Walking is relatively cheap. You see, take some fluids with you, have the right sort of gear with you, within reason. Now, you need some waterproof, some thermal layer, and be able to have some layers to strip down or put more on. Depending on what the weather's up to. And besides that, some good boots, you know, take a camera with you, take some pictures, you know, just have a chill. You know, you'd be, you'd be surprised what you can sort out in your own head if you just take an hour out of life, go for a stroll in the countryside, have 
even just don't even think about your bottom sore bit for an hour, you know, chill, <laughs> as they would say. You can hear all the army stuff in the background there, the fuds. I think uh, hear some tanks as well moving about. Brings back good, good memories. No, I was in, but uh, with that aside, before I muscle on even more about uh, enjoying the countryside, is we're I'll spin you around, have a proper look about. And I would like to say a massive thank you to everybody who uh, still subscribes to my channel, still supports what I do and all other vloggers as well. A massive thank you. You know, it's, it's all very much appreciated. And I do apologise yet again for just the lack of content of late. I can't promise, I don't want to put a promise on now when it's going to pick up because I've already made a promise that I was going to pick it up and obviously everything changed around Christmas and uh, yeah it is what it is but I will inevitably aim to try and get content out especially when I get my new truck expect a video on that no doubt I am currently trying to do the DAF one but uh, I've stopped finding an ideal situation yet to do it in so uh, we'll see on that one otherwise I might have to do a retrospective video in the future talking back using the uh, Scania for example of why <laughs> or why not so good v the daf but we'll see with that said I want to say a massive thank you yet again and if you haven't subscribed, please smash that subscribe button. It is seriously very much appreciated. Check out my Instagram, which I have been posting up now and again on there. If you want to see uh, some more pictures, stuff like that, you know. I'm trying to improve on the social media side. Also check out my Facebook. I'm not really fully active on that, but uh, nevertheless, check it out. Give me a follow. That'd be awesome. And yet again, if you have any ideas, any questions, or in reason, of course, feel free to post down below. I do want to see read them all. And uh, with that said, I will see you when I see you next time. <laughs>